Happiness is peace and contentment. You cannot keep comparing yourself to everybody else. You have to be content with what you have achieved. So that should give you peace. I am George Yang, Yang Siming, and this is my profile. From the fast food counter to the concert stage, this well-known Chinoy personality sang his way to his new love and is now enjoying the fruits, or should I say, fast food of his labor. Let's take a look at his profile and see what exactly made him the charming singing businessman that he is today. I saw a small coffee shop in Kubao. One time I, I went in for a merienda, I saw they have a wrapper called Big Mac. Okay? And I know that that brand belongs to McDonald's. So I sent them the wrapper, I said, you, you should register already, otherwise people will just use your brands, you know. And they came here in 1976 just to look around, and I was one of those that they come to meet also. They like what they saw in the Philippines. They said, hey, this is, looks like a good market, everybody speaks English. So that was the first time they were exposed in the Philippines. And they, they took us seriously and I even went to Hong Kong with my son to train without the permission. I went to Hong Kong, I got to know the managing director there and put on a new uniform and worked there for, I wanted to know what it's like, me also. And my son, Kenneth, was 15 years old. Finally, we become 100%. Filipino company and that's how the transition went and it was luckily it was very positive for us. Taking a cue or two from his father, Kenneth Young wholeheartedly accepted the responsibility. Being at the helm however is not always a great serving of fries, burgers or sodas because most of the time there are challenges to be faced and lessons to be learned. McDonald's at the time was a very difficult franchise to get especially as he was also competing with many other businessmen much bigger than he was. But I think with persistence, he also showed McDonald's that he would be the right partner. That was a very pleasant surprise to our family. And we are his number one fans. Well, I was already uh, 60 years old when I found out that I could I could sing fairly well from the karaoke. <laughs> then I started singing at home, put some equipment in the house and sing at home. One time I met Jose Marie Chan. I said, hey, Joe, you know, I think I can sing. <laughs> so let's talk about it. So when he was back in Manila, we had lunch and he said he will help me produce a CD. And I was very interested just for a record of, that I could sing and then maybe one day my grandchildren can hear me. He helped produce my first CD. So one time he had a concert at the NBC tent. His guest was Anna Feji. So he said, George, would you like to sing uh, with Anna? You can sing the prayer yeah. and sang with her the prayer. And uh, many people were surprised because they're Makati crowds. I think it's, it's nice that he has been able to, you know, hit two birds with one stone. He's giving back, at the same time, he's pursuing his passion for singing. I started learning classical music because uh, a friend of mine who is a classical singer said, you know, your voice is suitable for classical music. So I can sing both classical music, Broadway, and even the pop. So classical music was more challenging and I, I make a CD when I learned classical. I made a CD, The Night is Young. Then I started making another one called Always Young. When I was young, just like, just like all of us, when we were teenagers, we listened to the radio and we tried to follow the radio, this, whatever is being sung in the radio, right? So I, I realized I could, I could carry a tune. Time I did ask my father. I said, "Hey, do you think maybe I can? I should take some music lessons, you know, singing lessons." So he said, "What for?" 
because of my love for music, I said, uh, God gave me something else in my old age, made me an artist of sorts. I should give back. Many Filipinos are gagaling. They don't have money. So we, I started this scholarship program. I will here help them with their tuition. So they become my scholars, classical music foundation scholars. Doing what he loves and doing something to give back define the kind of passion George has for singing and classical music. And for the past years, he's been singing sweet music together with his scholars under the Classical Music Foundation. Every time you audition for something, you have this uh, pre-jitters and it's always nerve-wracking to be singing in front of uh, very talented people because our judges were very, very talented. And then uh, to be able to sing in front of Sir George and it was the first time that I ever meet him. So it was something like it's very surreal and then when I got in, it somehow made me believe in myself more. It really inspires me to, to sing and then having this opportunity to be able to sing in different places and touch people's lives gives me so much happiness. Every now and then I also have concerts for them where they, uh, they are all singers and usually I also sing with them. Before a performance, we always laugh together because he's very, he tend, we tend to be very nervous, but you know, we try to liven up each other. Sir George and I have been performing, we have sung like hundreds of times together already, so I'm very great, grateful that he always asks me to perform with him, and I'm very grateful that he believes in what I can do. One of the personal things that I do, aside from business, that I, uh, in a way, I'm contributing to society. I, I'm happy, if my family is happy, and they, they all become good, responsible citizens. I'm happy when the company is doing well. I'm happy, I'm, I'm able to help people too. At the same time, uh, I'm still progressing. I am George Young. Yang Si Ming, I'm a businessman and maybe a singer. I am a Chinese Filipino.